All right, let's see what's on tap for today. Pattern-collections.com. We're going to go down to Pattern Focus. And look at the pattern called Lucy. Get it nice and big here. Hmm. Okay. First thing we're going to do is make some thin parallel lines like that. And then underneath, on one side of one of these parallel lines, we're going to make little filled in dark rectangles spaced apart like that. You can see them better here. Make it bigger. Wow. And then from one side of this little pen, we're going to come up with a little hook like a candy cane. And then it looks like from the middle of that, we're going to come up, we're going to hit that and come around like that. And we're going to keep doing that in sets. So we're going to do come up and go down and up and go down and do it in pairs. And so it looks like that. So yeah, it certainly looks like the spine of a spiral notebook. That's what it looks like to me. And you can make it in various shapes. You can do it into a circle. This one is all over the place here in the sample. And uh, let's just see what I can come up with. This is going to be interesting. So it's basically a ribbon tangle. So I'm going to treat it just the same way I would treat any ribbon tangle. And I think I'm going to Let me turn on my light a little bit more. Um, let's make a, a border. And some kind of string. Uh, I'm going to just close my eyes and maybe do a string like that. Okay. I'm going to do this particular one. Usually with uh, ribbon type tangles, unless I'm doing the ribbon around an object, I, I do end up drawing the border. Sometimes I don't draw a border. Or sometimes I do like a, just a little smudgy border. But usually if I have a ribbon tangle, I do draw the border. I think. I think I want this one on top. So I'm going to draw this one first. And I'm going to draw it pretty much just like the pattern shows. Um, okay, and then here we're going to make these little rectangles. Like that. Let's see, when you're watching this, you're going to be watching this on Saturday. I will be in the San Diego area. Watch my husband and her, his friends, our friends, uh, go on another bike ride. One of my friends he hurt his knee, so he is not going to be bike riding, but he will be uh, probably driving the, the truck, the support truck, and I 
and using his drone. It looks like that. Oh, you're very far away. Let me get a little closer. So up here, another one there, and I got a little carried away. See, I got a little bit of, I got a little carried away there with my, I'll just fill that in again. Definitely spiral notebook spine is what I see. Cute though. Okay, now I'm gonna come out just a little. I'm going to play with scale and see what happens if I draw one where the parallel lines, the beginning lines, are not exactly parallel, where they get a little bit bigger or smaller like that and then see what happens and maybe this part here is not going to be a rectangle maybe it'll have a little, little bit of a curve to it Oh, okay, and then I think I'm going to change my pen to my thicker pen just to get a little different line weight, and I'm going to do. Do it like that. A shorter one and then a taller one. Just trying to kind of get out of that whole notebook spine looking thing that I see. Back to my other pen. I'm going to do one more. Maybe here.
This one's going to have smaller ones. Like that. As you know me, I always play with scale. I do like the, the changing of size for that. I think that's cool. In two different sizes. Okay, that's how I decided to play with this pattern. Um, I think this one's going to get an aura. Anything else I want to do to them before I do my shading? I think this one's going to have stripies in it. Maybe some stripies in this one too. Why not? Are we done? I think we're done. No, it wants Now are we done? Nope. 
Now are we done? Nope. Now are we done? Maybe. Okay, what was the name of this? Oh, I've forgotten already. Uh, Lucy. Name is Lucy. And then a little bit of shading. Um, I sh before I do that, I want to get rid of any string lines I might have. This morning I'm thinking about our music director at church. Her mother passed away. Had a lot of a lot of funerals in my church this year. It's not it's not been good pretty. It's been a really rough year on us. Um, my poor music director, she can't even go home for her mother's funeral. Her mother lives out of the country and, um, and she's waiting for her visa to go through. Um, it had expired. And she put in for, like months ago, she put in for, um, you know, an extension for her visa so that she could go back home and visit her mom before she passed. And, um, yeah, it hasn't come through yet. And so she's not able to go home and visit her mother, which is really sad. Okay, um, trying to decide what I want to do. need a different blending stick. like that. Okay. And then this one. What does this one want? Does it want anything? It wants just a little coming off of these.
All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm done. This wants to be a little darker right here where it overlaps just a little bit. That's the nice thing about shading is if you look up and you say, you know, that's not dark enough. It's really easy to add more. And if you look up and you think, oh, that is just way too dark. You can also use that dreaded eraser and erase because, you know, it's okay. You can. That's better. Needed a little bit more contrast there. I'm good with this. Okay. There you go. There's today's tangle. It is called Lutzi. And I will see you tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Um... Yeah, I got things I gotta do. Gotta get ready for work. Did I, do I have one more I have to draw before I go to work? Yes, I do. Okay, I've got one more I have to draw before I go to work and then I gotta get going. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.